You see, this hook right here was generated entirely utilizing AI. You don't need to wait to get stock footage anymore, or perhaps if you're a marketer receiving client assets, all you need now is Google's view three new video tool to generate all of the stock footage and B-roll you need to make your hooks stronger. So my goal in today's video is to show you exactly how I've been utilizing Google VO3 and showing you live examples of the ads I've made with AI and showing you what the hook rate was on said ad creatives. So if you're new to the channel, you don't yet know who I am. And my name is Justin Lalonde and I'm the founder at paidadvertising.com where on the one hand, we help businesses implement a scalable AI powered ad engine. And on the other, we grow e-com and info businesses, the multi seven figures with paid ads. With that said, we've profitably spent and advised on over $15 million USD in the last 12 months alone in ad spend. And let's get straight into today's video. So what you need for that is well, Google's bo 3 tool, how do you get access to it? There are two ways in which you can get access to it. So if you Google Google bo 3 right here, and then you scroll down, and you click on that right here. So you can access it either via Gemini, or through Google's flow tool, the way I'm going to show you in this video is going to be through Google's Gemini. Gemini is the equivalent of Google's chat GPT. So it's a chat interface right here where you can ask it specific questions. And so what you would want to do right here is if you have access to Gemini with the account type that you have on Google, you got to go here bottom left and hit video. So for that, you need a pro account, but not any type of pro account. Now, if you have a G Suite account, this is not yet available for whatever reason to professional accounts, it's only available to personal accounts who are paying for Google one. So what you would want to look into is if you do not have this little video tool at the bottom, you'd want to upgrade your account and use a personal at gmail.com email address and upgrade it to Google one subscription. So if you're unfamiliar with that, you can just Google Google one right here. And you would need again, a Google one subscription for your personal account under the AI pro plan right here at $26.99 to get access to this. This is in Canadian dollars, by the way, so it should be a little less expensive in USD. Now, going back to Gemini right here, you can see that when I hover around the video tool right here, and I select it, it goes in blue. And in here, it says generate with VO3. So by default, it all automatically gives you the highest possible model for video generation on Gemini. So it works very similarly to the image tool on GPT or even on Gemini, where instead of saying create an image of and you describe the image, you say create a video of. Now, you can use this in two different ways, you can use this to simply generate B roll and footage like I'm going to show you in this video. Or you could also make people talk what you have to note is that you also can describe the sounds that you hear because Gemini will not only generate you videos, it'll also generate you sound. So you'll hear anything from speaking to background noise to music, like you could tell it any sort of sound that you want to hear in the video. So if you do not put any sound, they'll put some by default for you, which might not always be what you want. So here, what I said is create a video of a 23 year old red hair, beautiful woman with light makeup and wavy hair looking at herself in the bathroom mirror. The bathroom is a modern Scandinavian style. The camera angle is right behind her shoulder. She's smiling faintly. She's brushing her teeth and there's a purple in hex color code. And then I give it an X color code liquid dripping out of her mouth. My goal here is one of our clients is actually selling teeth like whitening products, which are actually in a yellow color. And so therefore, I wanted to create something that was like shocking so that we could put in a hook, right? And I'll show you those ads in a little bit. So if I mute the video right here, and I hit play, you can see she's starting to brush her teeth, but it gets a little weird at some point, right? You can kind of see that like she's now for whatever reason brushing her face. And so I was like, Alright, well, now what we want to do right here is like, you know, once she's done, she then puts the toothbrush down on the counter, she was only brushing her teeth, not the whole face. And then if I played that right here, it was a little weird at the start, because like, again, it was kind of going more into like the inside of her cheek, but from there looked, you know, better towards the end. So we in fact, used part of that clip. And so this is like, again, a very light way in which I'm showing you how to use it. And so like showing you three live examples of generations that we did. Here's one right here is an example from an ad that we edited. So I'm going to mute that right here. And I played a hook, right, you can see like this on the left hand side is all from VO. Okay, so this is VOs with a another creator right here on the right hand side, which was used essentially as a UGC creator. We tried to prompt VO to get a creator that looked as close as possible to her. Now it's not exactly the same person as we have here on the right. But it's a type of thing that like when you see this on your feed, you're like, what the fuck is that? Right? And that's the goal with it. it's the goal with getting a strong hook, right? So it's what you got right here. And it's a little weird even because there's technically like liquid dripping out from 
who knows where, right? Right here. So that's that. Now, here, DCT8, another one that we had for this client. So if I hit play right here and I mute this first and foremost, right? Kind of that same image here at the top, but we also had another one that we made right there, which is like just some kind of more yellowing teeth and like just big teeth showing here in the middle, which again, type of stuff that you see on your feet are like, what is that, right? So it's all in order to give like this kind of what is that feeling to the audience. And then third one that we have right here, so I'm gonna mute that right here. So we have two different AI videos playing at the same time. So one at the top right here and then one at the bottom right there. So again, this is great if you do not have the footage that you want to create with ads. Because before that, we were limited to stock footage. Like I personally, as an example, at the agency was using Envato Elements to download stock assets for our clients. So if a client, as an example, didn't have stock footage of them installing shingles on a roof, or if they didn't have stock footage of, as an example, like their, their product, just like shown right here, or somebody using the product, we were limited to stock footage and stock footage does not necessarily have everything you want. Now, with time, we started using something called grid bank, which essentially is, as you can see right here, it's like stock footage for UGC. So it's like just general B roll of like a bunch of different scenes that you might want to use in your ads. So still a little bit better. But again, there's limitations to that, like you still don't have exactly if you have a very specific idea in mind, you weren't able to get it to come to life. Whereas now you can utilizing Gemini slash, you know, VO three right here with Google's new tool. So this way is purely like video footage only we did not use it to generate sounds. Now you might have seen online like Google VO three Star Wars as an example or Google man, I cannot even type right here. But there's like some people doing Harry some here. like a uh, found two rhinos. Trooper, just um, me or like vlogs right here as an example, which are all made with VO three. So you could definitely have like audio and people talk utilizing VO three, we just haven't gone in as far as to use that yet. What we'll usually do is again, hooks or B roll in the middle of our video ads that we just don't have on hand, we're going to use VO three to generate it. So moving on to the ads manager right here, you can actually see that like hook rate, this is VCT one as an example that we showed you right at the start right here. So this one that had like this in the hook, right? So this video specifically, when I look into the ads manager, a hook rate of the best variation of it is about 32%, 24% here, 22% right there. The combined total, if I recall, was closer to 30% just because of the ad spend being more indexed on the ad three variation. So therefore 30% hook rate is not bad at all, right? Like I'm honestly like I'm happy if we can get like a 25% or more. And that being said, of course, you can try and reach for more. I've even seen some of those being as high as 70 and even 80%. And so if you take a look at some of these other examples, which have a super, super high hook rate, like 91%, 67%, 75%, all those like, wow, what is that type of hook, which we're trying to do more of utilizing VO3 nowadays. And so if you want to learn more about what VO3 can do in your paid advertising process for your Facebook ads, say, or want to integrate more of AI into your market research, your iteration phase, then check out the link in the description down below to join my ad engine one on one inner circle today to have me work personally with you and review your paid ads offers name it, but help you implement these AI paid ad systems into your business. Now, if you're an e commerce or an info product business already doing $100,000 a month or more, I also invite you to book in a call with our team down below at paidadvertising.com so that we can help you at the agency scale your business, the multi multi seven figures with paid ads. On that note, I'm going to invite you to check out more videos on the channel for some more useful e commerce and info product marketing tips. And I'll be seeing you at the next one. Peace.